We can triangulate truth. We don't have to rely on just one news broadcast uh, and believe the TV because we found the TV is lying to us. But now those that understand that information is the most powerful weapon in the human race, that the most lethal weapon is right between your ears. And if I can influence what's going on between your ears and what you see is true and what reality is, I can shape that so that you act in my best interest. Our passenger planes are slower than they used to be. Our trains crawl compared to those in other parts of the world. Our cars do not fly. Advances have not stopped, but something has gone wrong. We seem to have lost focus and vision, to have lowered our sights and let systems and structures and bureaucracies muddle us along. But we are capable of so much more. Space is the place where if America does not change our strategy and how we're investing in space, we will become victims to others that use space as a way of dominating the Everything. energy market, or, but also the information market. Microsoft announced their quantum computing capability, which is just next level. They need to cool it down to uh, 80 millicalvin. There's really no way to cool it efficiently down to that level. Helium-3 can do it like that. China now has uh, enough helium-3 as they're mining it on the moon and bringing it back to Earth to be able to power the entire world for thousands of years. And they are the ones that can actually operationalize quantum because they can cool it down to the temperature it needs to actually operate. This technology can be built today with technology that is not developmental. To deliver any human being from any place on planet Earth to any other place in less than an hour. To deliver Wi-Fi from space where you never need a cell tower to connect. To deliver energy from space where you never have to plug your phone in and it trickle charges and you can use that energy over time. It can be applied to cars, to houses. There's another side of it that's a little darker, and this gets back to what you do. What you do is you are trying to find truth. We are living in an age where we are moving from an industrial age to a networked age, and we're like teenagers, and we don't have the tools to know what truth is. Stagnation was a choice. We have weighed down our builders and innovators. The well-intentioned regulatory regime of the 1970s became an ever-tightening ratchet, first hampering America's ability to become a net energy exporter and then making it harder and harder to build. Our government tells us stories about what is true, who's the bad guy, who's the good guy, here's why your tax money needs to go to this. $8 million for making mice transgender. This is real. And we all believe it because we love our country and we don't want to be at war and we don't want uh, insecurity. We want peace, prosperity, and health for us and everybody on the planet. Right, and it's interesting the government subsidizes it. Why would the government want to subsidize something that's going to make people sick? That is a, a direct result of corruption. But there are perverse incentives for big companies and governments uh, to weave a tail that deceives the population to perpetuate the wealth, control, and security of a very small group of people that are getting rich on the current methodology. One of the reasons they don't move forward is the bureaucratic and the uh, statutory administrative state that thinks it knows better than you and is getting rich off the lobbyists and the companies and the money into the coffers of the election system to perpetuate the way things were. All of the energy companies would be totally against beaming energy down from space because that just, 
that unhooks you from the utilities. Well, here's the reason. This gets rid of power plants. This gets... I mean, it, it, it turns... It's, a, just, it's even just an eyesore. That's right. I mean, it's all in space. You can't see it. Yeah. The legislation that President Trump championed to get a space force written into law will be the wedge in history that protects America. I mean, how does that just slide past a president's desk? Hey, we got this, we got China over here, our biggest adversary, biggest potential adversary. This you might want to take, so take a look at this. Well, I, this president, uh, President Trump, understands this. He does. He does. He does.